Decide that if you are going to be a certain type of human being in this lifetime, you will be the being that reflects the glory and the nature of God wherever you show up. But this doesn't mean that people will not lie on you. This doesn't mean that the world will not laugh at you, at your talent and at your dream. This does not mean that people will not try to disempower you. It simply means that the sun is not shining on humans because they are kind to the sun. The sun is shining because this is the way the great I am designed the sun to be. So be the being that manifests yourself in this world like the sun, not because of how people treat you, but because that's the way God designed you to manifest yourself. Now, that is true spirituality. Don't change your nature because people choose to change theirs. Be the son of God who shines on the good and on the bad, in your mind, in your imagination, in your heart, in your gut. Like Mother Teresa will say, love them anyway. So choose to be the sun, the morning star that comes in the sky every single day. The light of the world that brings clarity to all people. The lighthouse set upon the hill to love mankind and to be known as the manifestation of love on this planet earth. Be the being that causes the angels to stop and say, wait a minute, this one is behaving like the Messiah. So decide to be the being that manifests the glory of God on earth in a form of unconditional love, in your mind, your imagination, your heart, and your guts. Decide to be the being that loves them so much in your mind, heart, and gut that in the psychic dimension, your imaginal act of love telepathically begins to set them free from the energy of hate and envy that is holding them in captivity. Listen, be the being that knows how to speak life into your mind, speak life into your heart, speak life into your gut, speak life into your body. Be the being who wakes up every day to cast the spell of healing on this world, to break the curse of hate and resentment that is holding many people in low vibration of sickness and disease. Be the being that is a vessel of the kingdom of heaven on planet earth. Don't be afraid to show up and to appear because the light that has designed you, has designed you to show up in the darkness. And there is no greater light than the nature of love that is within you, that you are. Let no one change who you are designed to be. Show up and remember, the part of you that is not afraid to be seen is the one that gets to see the magic in the end. Remember that who you are is different from what you are. Yes, your body may still hold imperfections in your neural pathways, but you are not your body. What you are is the accumulation of personalities born out of your life experiences. And even that hold imperfections. But who you are existed before your body and before what you are as personalities. You are the manifestation of love. You are the image and the likeness of love. And when you begin to confess that, when you begin to believe in that, when you begin to speak that into your body cells and act like it, listen to me, through the unconditional and unbreakable frequency of love that you are, you will then understand that he that lives in you is definitely greater than any identity this world will give you. So I invite you to decide. Decide that if you are going to be a certain type of human being in this lifetime, 
you will be the being that reflects the glory of God, the nature of God, the unconditional love of God when you show up. Fear not. You know what fear is? Because fear is what happens when the gods and the goddesses have pretended too long to be humans. Then the human they now became is afraid of the gods and the goddess they once were. And to be a god and a goddess is to be the manifester of unconditional love on the planet regardless of outside circumstances. You are here to manifest God on earth, to manifest love on earth. Be that being.